TR Flex accessories are supplied in a sealed package and consist of locking segments, rubber retainers, and instructions. 4 to 10 inch TR Flex joints require one right and one left hand locking segments. 12 to 20 inch TR Flex joints require two right and two left hand locking segments. Start by inspecting and removing dirt, excess asphalt coating, or other material in the heel retaining groove and gasket seat that can prevent the gasket from being properly installed. The gasket must be wiped clean with a clean cloth, flexed, and then placed into the socket with the rounded bulb end entering first. Loop and work the gasket into the heel retainer groove and space the loops around the joint evenly. Pull out the loop about three to four inches high to adjust the gasket. Once the loops are pulled and evenly spaced, push the loop gasket into the bell. A rule of thumb to use for the number of loops is, the first digit of the pipe size is the number of loops needed. When installing Titan joint pipe in sub-freezing weather, the gaskets, prior to their use, must be kept at a temperature of at least 40 degrees Fahrenheit by suitable means, such as storing in a heated area. After the gasket is installed, check to ensure the gasket is flush and does not set above the throat and apply a thin film of Titan joint lubricant. In hot, dry weather conditions, the lubricant can dry out. Especially when applied to hot pipe, it will be necessary to add a small amount of water to hydrate the lubricant. Caution: The use of spray-on lubricant is not recommended. Experience has determined that spray-on lubricant may not be sufficient to allow joint assembly without gasket displacement. Lubricate the pipe spigot back to the assembly stripes and 4 to 5 inches behind the weld bead where the locking segments slide into place. Make a conventional push-on joint assembly, fully homing the pipe until the first assembly stripe is in the bell socket. Keep the joint in straight alignment during assembly and lay the pipe or fitting in such that the slots are positioned at 3 and 9 o'clock and are accessible. Insert the black left-hand locking segment into a bell slot and slide the segment counterclockwise around the pipe and insert the red right-hand locking segment into the same bell slot and slide the segment clockwise around the pipe. Then hold the segments apart and wedge the rubber retainer into the slot between the two locking segments. Fold and insert the rubber retainer in a U-shape as shown for normal buried applications. The opposite bell slot is not used on 4 to 10 inch TR flex joints unless a TR flex gripper ring is being used. For applications involving HDD, pipe bursting, bridge crossings, pipe in casings, and above ground use, trim the rubber retainer one quarter inch longer than the gap between the locking segments when they are inserted into the segment cavity. Drive the rubber retainer to the back of the cavity. The rubber is in compression and secure. Extend the joint to remove the slack in the locking segment cavity. Joint extension is necessary to obtain the marked laying length on the pipe and to minimize growth or extension of the line as it is pressurized. Set the joint deflection as required, but do not exceed the maximum deflection of the joint.